All right, again, the New Zealand damselfly. It's just, it's incredible since put it on, it's like every cast you either get a hit or, or you hook up. Oh, it's just, it's amazing, it's beyond belief. I'm sure biologists would understand exactly why this fly would work as opposed to the 10 or so other flies that have been the same size and similar type damselfly patterns, but they don't work. I know Don just changed up for a few minutes. I don't think he's gonna be changed up for long though. He's gonna go back to, to what he had on there. Oh, this fly's getting pretty beat up. There we go, another uh, spawned out uh, female. Probably the uh, 16 or so inch variety and gone. Oh, excellent, what a great fishery. <laughs> to think this lake is about 40 minutes from home, it took about 40 minutes to get here and we haven't fished here in two years. Can you believe it? I think we need to make a little more time on our schedule for some personal fishing up here. Okay, check it out in the middle here. Just getting back to where I was going. We've got some pretty colors going. Color it up. Try to get him off. Not a bad size. Right in the top of the lip as usual. That's a nice size fish. Oh, baby. Oh. There we go. Yeah, he's about 18. Oh, 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 oh. Full of life. Let him go. Whew. More fish. More fish on that little leech or uh, little damsel fly pattern. Well, just working down at the far end because it's been really productive down there and kind of slowed down a little bit. So I thought, well, I'll take a cruise down the middle and, and try this end of the lake because it's nice and shallow, some good weed growth down there too. And, oh yeah, this guy picked it up on the way down. <laughs> Looks a little bit darker too, so we're just getting them just after the spawn. Oh, he's not done yet. Oh, he's just going big, eh? Just going, yeah. A good run and a little air <laughs> show at the action. end. What a quality fishery. You know, you go to a lot of different places and, and we've been fortunate enough to fish at a couple of, not really private waters, this isn't a private lake, although you, you'd almost think it, not a lot of people know about it. It's just one of those little gems that I think wherever you go, you find these little gem fisheries around that have fish like this. I mean, this is a little bit smaller yet, but boy, did he have a lot of energy. How many times did he come out of the water? I grab my hook on him here, flip him over, hook out, hook out. There he is there. Look how fat that guy is. Get a good look how fat he is. It's probably the 14 inch range, 14, 15 incher. Get him in. Gone. A little shower. Oh, what an excellent day of fishing. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the bench. You know, we've been fortunate enough to travel around to different locations, and we always encounter different flies. Well, this fly is called the New Zealand Danzel, it's from New Zealand. And guess what? It works good over there, and it works good here. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie this fly. We're gonna tie the New Zealand Danzel on a TMC 2312 size 12 hook. We're gonna use some ADOT olive thread. We're gonna use some olive marabou for the tail, some dubbed olive marabou for the body. We'll use a copper wire for the rib, a black hackle for the palmered hackle, and some olive marabou for the wing. To start the fly off, I'm gonna tie in the tail. I've taken a, a little patch of my green marabou, or olive marabou, and we're gonna tie it in, form a little bit of the body with that. And what we'll do is actually reach back about an inch and pull off our marabou to form the tail. Don't cut those ends, just pull it back, hold it with your fingers and pull that marabou off to form the tail. Take some gold wire, or some copper wire, and actually tie it into your body, and we'll hold this off the back of the hook to rib later. For the hackle, I've taken a, a black hackle, and we're gonna tie it in by the tips, and this hackle will be palmered up the body 
once we get the body dubbed in. Now the body is ready to be dubbed in. I'm going to take some of my olive marabou and slowly dub it onto the thread. And we'll just dub a nice little patch on here on the thread. And now we'll slowly wind it forward to form the body. And add additional dubbing on as needed to fill in the body nicely. To form the ribbing on the body, we're going to take our gold rib, our copper wire that we've had sitting back there, and slowly make about six to seven turns up the body to rib it. The black hackle will now be taken from the back of the hook and slowly palmered to the front. And I've chosen a nice long black hackle. I prefer to have nice long palmered hackle on this fly. Now for the final step in the fly, I've taken some more olive marabou and we're just going to tie it in at the front right behind the eye. Tie it in good, form a nice Nice little thin green head on this fly. And here's the key. We're going to reach back to about the length of the hook and we're going to pull that marabou off again to form a nice wing on the top. Wow, there it is, the finished New Zealand damsel. Now this fly works really well in New Zealand and it also works really good in Canada. So why don't you give it a try in your part of the world and see how it works for you. Mm -hmm.